Zafir is a professional CCTV brand that prioritizes the security of your devices by making sure that nobody enters your installations without permission and protect your systems against cyber attacks by using an activation process without a default password. To set up a Zafir camera, first you have to activate it, and then you can add it to the Zafir Connect app to see the live stream on your mobile phone, share the access security with other users, and manage your devices from anywhere. In this example, we'll use one of Zafir's IP dome cameras. This type of camera has Wi-Fi and Ethernet connection. As it is a professional device, we will carry out the process with an Ethernet cable to ensure a correct activation. Later, it can work wirelessly if you prefer. We start by connecting the camera to the local network using a UTP cable. You can choose to power it over the Ethernet cable or with a 12 volt adapter. Now, on our computer, we go to this site on the Sophia website to download the SADP software. With that, we can activate the camera and modify the connection parameters. Once it has been installed, we open the program and locate our camera, which will appear as inactive. It is important to make sure that our computer is connected to the same network as the camera. We select the camera, create a password, and activate the Easy Connect option. A window will now appear asking us to create a verification code. In the same way, we create a code, confirm, and press activate. If you want, you can enable a password recovery method by answering three questions. We've now activated the camera. Now we will add it to the Saphir Connect app to be able to remotely access the live stream, recordings, and configurations. First, we open the app and click on Login. If you already have an account created, simply log in with your credentials. Otherwise, click on Register and accept the Terms of Service. You can choose to register with a phone number or email address. In our example, we will go for the email. We enter an email address, confirm the security code we have received, and create a password. Once we've accessed Saphir Connect, we click on Add Device. This will activate the camera on the phone. We scan the barcode that can be found both in the camera and on its box. We click on Add, enter the verification code we created when activating the Easy Connect option, and click on Next. If you want, you can change the name of the camera. Once we click Save, the camera will be added to the list of our devices. Now we can see the live stream. Access recordings stored on the SD card. Share access to the camera with other users. Change the configuration settings. And securely add it to third-party applications using our Saphir EasyConnect account.